So in in the previous cases, this because the, the it hasn't been yet starting to operate at scale, operating at the organization. This has been an important point in the formation phase to understand. But now when we go into scaling phase and scaling the organization, it becomes really a key factor to understand the need and the value and the business rationale behind having a clear separation between the strategy and the operations of the company. So the, this basically means that, that operative activities are all, the, all those things where things are being executed based on the decisions already made. The, 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 the main company strategy framework, the values that the company represent, the mission, the mission, the, the roadmap, the milestones, all of those are guidelines existing based on existing strategy work in place already. Then there are things that are adjusting, improving a process, improving, creating a new version or function, improving anything. Uh, decisions to, to, to change something significantly is basically that kind of strategy work. And the operative work is about executing. It's about executing on decisions, it's executing on strategies, executing based on processes, executing based on documentations. So it's really important to execute this into clearly separate categories. Uh, while of course there are always strategic, smaller level, uh, closer to operation things should I use. Uh, when I'm contacting someone, should I use phone or email or should I use black or red or, or should I do this today or tomorrow or more. Um, depending on what the, the thing is that is being done, um, do I send it now as an attachment or do I send it as a link to an attachment? Whatever those may be or, or things that, of that nature. Uh, so of course there are strategic changes and, and smaller things. But bigger things that impact everyone, it impacts for example changing a company name, changing a tagline, changing the pricing, changing a process, removing a step from a process, adding a step for, for a process. Um, anything that, that could have a bigger impact on, on the outcomes or it would uh, change how the, the KPIs work, uh, that should be a controlled consideration done in such a way that it's clearly understood why it is done, what was done, and it's measured what was the impact and, and, and only after that it is then put per, more permanently in place. Because if keep, things keep changing all the time then it's very hard to be able to see what's happening or to understand what's happening. Uh, and at the same time in the operational level it's very hard to execute because there's too many variations or too many options or there's too much creativity needed on being able to execute on what, on what needs to be accomplished. So basically leading to people not knowing what they should be doing. Even if they know what type of results they should be getting, but not understanding and not giving the right tools of how they actually, what, what, if they would, what they need to perform to get those results. That is proven to work. <clears throat> So it's really finding the, the balance between these two. So here is just kind of a, a, a one page simple uh, visualization to, to kind of get some perspective into how this can, could be really simplified in, in one page. If this would be a white paper, it, I, I would be just drawing a whiteboard, I would be just drawing this one by one to, to explain, but basically um, there should be the strategy work clearly separated now, of course, uh, board meetings, official uh, board uh, should, should start to cover this and that's where it should happen. But when we are talking about startups and becoming scale-ups and growing the organizations, these are more of func functions and hats uh, that, that uh, because same people may be working on multiple roles 
and functions, so you just have to mentally separate and time-wise and, uh, and, and that way separate them. So have strategy meetings or calls where it's mainly to review, update and improve operative work processes and so forth. And then there's the operative work, the tasks, the projects and the processes and associated KPIs with those that are being executed and uh, the decisions or priorities may be changed as part of the, the strategy work. Then you can have something like Trello board for this business activity where the actual progress and activities of those tasks and projects and processes are followed and where the kind of sub-prioritization of different tasks and activities are done. If it's a process, there can be uh, tools like uh, Process Street or similar uh, for, for, for things that are repeated over and over again. So that's like, a, for example, customer onboarding, new feature development for a product, uh, doing a newsletter uh, and so forth, where the strategy work is to measure how effectively that process is executed every time when it does and what results it does it bring and what changes we could make to that process to improve it. And usually these suggestions and learnings, of course, come from those who execute them. But before making change to, to everything, there should be a strategy consideration, mainly for the aspect, uh, aspect that does it change something else somewhere else, so that if we change this process here, it actually doesn't accidentally drop a connecting process uh, from a designer providing or expecting to see certain parts of how things are being implemented or, or whatnot. And then, of course, there should be the connection to financials uh, from the sales processes, from the, from the cost side of processes, and to evaluate uh, every time when there's ideas that we could improve this, we, could, we should do this, we should not do this anymore to save cost and then reallocation of those real resources uh, in, in context of uh, prioritizing the activities and, and so forth. So, of course, when we work as individual on our own private time management and we use tools and so forth, that's a certain level, but this is more an organizational level where everyone has to understand uh, and, and uh, common tools need to be used, common terminology need to be used, uh, access to same common tools uh, should be visible and there should be understanding that the people who do the strategy work, specifically when it starts to involve people who only do strategy work, they should have clear visibility from their perspective more of this kind of um, business model canvas type of perspective versus a business model perspective where, where, where as an operative side there's a lot of detail and working through those details you formalize this uh, bigger, uh, more strategic picture of, uh, of many things but that's separately not documented because why would you document something that uh, uh, for your own purposes because why would you document something that you already know and you can see and you are already aware but the whole point is that that needs to be documented for doing proper strategy work because otherwise the strategy work doesn't know. But at the same time, in strategy work, you're looking multiple things at the same time, not only individual things. Uh, and therefore you need to have more of an indexed or summarized perspective into this information. So this just gives kind of a snapshot of, of, of very high level snapshot of, of a way this can be visualized or considered. And of course, this is just uh, uh, a simplified version and but you could even have like uh, a link be behind this when you click the, the, the trailer icon and you click that uh, spreadsheet it actually takes you to that spreadsheet or or later on you can think of having like real tools that can do all of these things in, in, in a one system but that gets more of a uh, corporate uh, software and, and that's more of a preference of choice of what is the best software and to what phase and so forth. So we're not going to go that far in here. 
So really the, 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 the problems that occur if these operative strategy work are not clearly uh, separated and don't have their own presence and function is that if you keep all the strategies open all the time and there is no separate process or method of how, um, how strategies are evaluated and changed and put in place and communicated to others, basically it means that, that the operative team feels that, that, that we don't really know what's our function, we don't really know what's working, so therefore it's more about us as individual performance instead of us together uh, working as a team and getting results uh, that way. And not knowing that if, 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 if I don't have any ability to change the system versus I can only change my own performance, uh, then it, it doesn't give me the tools to give suggestions of how something could be improved in a company versus improving only my own per personal performance. Or then the other side is that, that there is, so if there is a need for strategy work, but there is no clearly way or model to communicate how that, that should happen, how does the change happen, how does a new strategy come in place, how, how these things are managed, then it becomes very, um, confusing for the organization to actually become to place and to actually start developing and improving because basically people don't understand, they don't know what, why things are the way they are. There's no way of, of, of changing things and it becomes more about just about people and communicating through people uh, without any kind of business rationale 